curate top-notch content, and mix in your reverse-engineered content. Now that you have a clear idea of the themes of your competitors' most successful content, look for third-party content that non-competitors or lower-level competitors produce that meet these themes. When you do this, you're saving a lot of money. You obviously don't have to create this content. Instead, you're just simply sharing it. However, you're doing yourself a big favor because you are giving your target audience the kind of content they are looking for. You're giving them something to engage with that you know, based on your research of your competitors, they already like. When you feature this content, you tend to attract the same types of audience as your competitors. Now, curation can only take you so far. You shouldn't build and maintain your Instagram account solely on curated content. You're being lazy when you do that. Instead, you use this content to draw and engage with your audience members. Next, you then come up with a short list of your competitors' very best content and you come up with your own version. This version has to be so much better that it's obvious. This is the key. This is what will put you over. Because remember, you're trying to build a persona. Up to this point, when you curate, the only persona you're building is that you're just part of the niche. Your brand is just another face in the crowd. You want to get over. You want to come up head and shoulders from the rest. How do you do this? You improve the best existing niche content you find on Instagram and you publish this as your own. By paying attention to video four and figuring out what is the hottest content in your niche, you then come up with your own version and then use this on your own feed. You rotate these along with the curated content that you are already publishing. How exactly do you improve on others' content? There are several ways you can improve the quality of content that you reverse engineer. Again, you're not copying and pasting here. You're not taking somebody's work and passing it off as your own. No, you're taking ideas so you can create your own original content, but you end up creating better content because you used one or a few or all of the following strategies. To improve content, you should do the following. Update. Offer an updated version of the content. If the hottest pictures your competitors are showing are grainy and obviously old, come up with an updated picture. You'd be surprised as to how viral your content can be. How come? Well, you are publishing something that is obviously up to date. Higher production quality. When you're publishing content, make sure that the quality values of the content are high. This means high resolution, crisp imagery, the colors are top notch. Also, the composition has to be really good. You have to produce content that is so obviously superior to your competitors that your brand stands out. That is the standard you should aim for. Include more details. I can't even begin to tell you how many Instagram accounts out there just post a picture and hashtag if that. That's all they do. I'm telling you, big, small, or medium-sized brands on Instagram that do this are leaving a lot of money on the table. You have to give more details because when you do this, you complete information gaps in the minds of your viewers. There's less mystery. This makes your brand more trustworthy. Eventually, if you keep this up, they start looking at your brand as some sort of reference site or some sort of resource. Don't be lazy. Now, there is such a thing as overkill, but you have to find that happy medium ground between too much information and not enough. Use better hashtags. When you do your reverse engineering, you will notice that some tags get used a lot more, but unfortunately, they may be too general or they may be too broad. You might end up attracting the wrong kind of crowd. You have to play around with your hashtag selection until you reach a point where you can be sure that a more specific tag is pulling more traffic from Instagram or helping you gain more followers. Unfortunately, there is no black and white answer to this. This is one of those things that you just have to try out on a purely trial and error basis until you get it right. Come up with a better picture series. Believe it or not, when people like a picture on Instagram, a lot of them want to see more. They're not talking about pictures of the same subject or similar types of pictures. They're talking about pictures from the same series. It's not unusual for people to see a picture of a beautiful vacation location. And somebody just posted two pictures. People who see that vacation destination would love to see its surrounding areas. They would love to see what it looks like at night, low tide, high tide, you name it. The more angles your pictures present, the more engaged your community can become. Use a better influencer distribution network. After you've done Instagram marketing for a couple of weeks, you would quickly notice that some accounts on Instagram tend to get a lot more attention in your niche than others. 
you should not automatically run away from these people. You might be thinking that they are competitors. You might be thinking that they are out to get your slice of the pie. Stop thinking that way. Instead, start looking at them as allies. Obviously, they already did the heavy lifting of attracting the same audience that you're trying to attract. Engage with them and get them to pay attention to your feed and they may possibly share some of your content. Now, you may be thinking to yourself that a lot of these accounts are in it for the money. That well may be true, but there are also a lot of hobbyist accounts out there. These are people who would voluntarily share content as long as they think it's good. Call your viewer to action. To get better results than your competitors, always include a call to action. With everything else being equal, if you have a competitor that just posts really gorgeous pictures and doesn't bother to call the viewer to action, you probably would get better results if you posted superior pictures with a call to action. Remember, the name of the game here is to figure out your competitor's strengths and build on them while at the same time taking advantage of their weaknesses. Profile link call to action must address content. Everything you do on Instagram must integrate with content. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're just going to get shout outs and you're just going to post a lot of stuff on Instagram to get people to click on your homepage link, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. You really are. Why? You want to qualify that traffic so that that traffic eventually converts into sales. How do you do that? Well, one of the most basic ways to do this is to link your profile link to an internal page. That's right. You don't link it to your home page. People landing on your own page might not know what to do. They're more likely to click the back button. Instead, when you feature a consumer guide or some sort of list article that clues people in on the common questions regarding your niche, you can build credibility. You are also answering questions. You are also answering needs. This increases the likelihood that the person that you get to click onto that page will keep clicking internal links because they think that you are an authority. Eventually, you get them to click on a link that will take them to your email list. This is how I prefer to convert Instagram traffic. I don't just dump them into an article, which then dumps them into a sales page. It would be great if they are in a mood to buy, but chances are they are not. The better approach is to get them on your mailing list and let your mailing list, by sending content and other information, do the heavy lifting of eventually converting your list members into paying customers. That's how the game is played. If you don't follow the tips above, chances are your content is just going to remain flat. It's not going to register with your target audience members.